In this lesson, my first period class was looking at some of the essays that follow the sunflower with different scholars and um, people that have been part of other genocides besides the Holocaust talking about Simon Wiesenthal's issue of forgiveness um, and just related topics like that. So each group had a different essay to look at and um, during this clip I'm helping one of the tables that really needs a lot more assistance than the others. This class is a lot of self-starters, but this particular table um, did need my help for most of the time and I was able to help them um, knowing that the rest of the class was doing okay with the assignment, which was really great. And it led to this table getting some really good thoughts down on paper. I've said before that discussion is something I've really been working on this semester and I think that I've really improved as time has gone on with leading discussion and actively listening to what my students are saying so that I can respond appropriately not just be thinking you know one step ahead about where I want to get but responding in the moment and it's been going really well and my students have gone so far in their thinking and discussion. I was really proud of this class, especially since it is first period. They're usually a little bit sleepy and the thinking is, you know, not as great as it might be later in the day. But this class, this day, was able to come up some, with some really good thoughts on forgiveness. Um, and especially this group, which is usually pretty quiet in the back, were talking about how there's different definitions of forgiveness and different ways for each person to think about it and that the perpetrator and the victim have different definitions of forgiveness, which was something really cool that we hadn't talked about in this class very much. Um, so this led to another great discussion just about that idea of the perpetrator and the victim. in this class about the perpetrator, so that would be the SS soldier, in this memoir, forgiving himself. So the person that did the harm, forgiving themselves. We haven't talked about that a lot. What do you guys think about, do you think that's true, that forgiveness, asking for forgiveness from someone else is also a lot about forgiving yourself for what you've done? I think sort of just about forgiveness in general, it really depends on what the person has done if you should forgive them or not, because if you forgive them, then you're sort of like letting them off the hook, like you're not punishing them. Like if someone's in jail and every person forgives them, then the person who put them in jail would also forgive them, so they might be set free. So I think that if you forgive someone who's done something like the Holocaust, then you're just letting them off the hook, and then so other people might think that that's okay. Like, oh, well, he, he was forgiven. So I can um, there are, of course, always things to improve, and I think that it's good to be near a group when they're talking, but I also could have been doing a little bit more classroom management um, on the other side of the room while some groups were talking. There aren't really, I don't really have many classroom management issues, but just, you know, to be near a different group, they'll probably be listening more if, you know, the teacher is even just standing near them. Um, so that's something I could always work on. Um, other than that, I could also work on helping the students with their presentation skills. Um, you know, I, of course, could hear them because I was sitting right next to them, but I know that half the time a lot of the kids on the other side of the room couldn't hear what they were saying, um, and I never want to inter interrupt them and say, you know, speak up, but I think that's sometimes necessary because they do need to learn how to speak in front of a class and in front of people. So those are two things that um, I can work on still with discussions. With this lesson, I was just so proud of the depth of thinking from my students. Um, 
And I hope that some of that does come from my ability to lead discussion getting better as time goes on. And I know that it has gotten better and that my um, cooperating teacher has, you know, told me that I've gotten to be great at leading discussion, which is awesome because that was one of my biggest goals. Um, but I mean, mostly it was hard for me even to pick which part of this class I wanted to show. And a lot of it I couldn't because of, um, you know, students, some students not being able to be shown on video, but I was just so proud of them, um, during this discussion. They did such a great job. Their writing is getting deeper. Their discussion skills, um, the depth of thinking is so much greater than it was at the beginning of this novel. At the beginning, they really weren't getting it at all, but now, um, you know, they come in excited to do it and excited to discuss with each other and, um, you know, defend their opinions and they understand that everyone has their own opinions and that not one is particularly right, but they love discussing it. Um, so I'm just really happy that, you know, my goal was met, that I got better at leading discussion and that I can really, really tell that all the students in most of my classes um, have really gotten something out of this memoir and that they've gotten better at their own dis discussion-based skills. So I was really happy with this one.